Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or hi, hello if you are new here. Thank you so much for joining me today for this H&M haul. So I am doing another H&M haul because I got so much love on the last H&M haul that I did. I will link that one down below because I do wear a few clothes in this haul just to team up with the new stuff that I've got. So I thought I would do another H&M haul. I have wanted to do a Zara haul and I am currently in the process of doing that. But I don't know about you, but I find the Zara website really, really hard to navigate and I've kind of put stuff in the basket, taken it out and I'm umming and ahhing about stuff. So I will get that video up, but I live on the Isle of Wight and we have a H&M on the island. We don't have a Zara, there's not many shops here. So H&M is one of the stores I could actually go into and I really wanted to go into a store and just see what it's like let you know my experience of shopping in store so I thought why not do another H&M haul so I have this huge bag I did get quite a lot again like my last haul I actually prefer this haul a lot more than my last haul so I have a lot of neutrals whites beiges uh, I do have some like olive greens but all very neutral tones um, so if you do like colour in your wardrobe you're probably not going to enjoy this haul so if you would like to see what I picked up in H&M then just keep on watching so my experience of going into the H&M store was amazing. There wasn't a queue outside, so I didn't have to queue. I went straight there, went in through the door and there's like a counter on the side where you have to go over and put hand sanitizer on. The lady actually watches you do it so you can't not do it. Not that you wouldn't want to do it, but you worry maybe some people don't. Um, but she will watch you do it. So you know that when you go in there and people are touching clothes and stuff, um, that they have had their hands sanitized. And she did say that it's fine to touch clothes, you know, pick them up, have a look at them because you have sanitized your hands. Um, but you cannot use the changing room. So I did just buy everything and then just bought it home. And obviously I've tried it all on for this video. So overall, I found it a really, really good experience. Let's get into the haul. So the first thing I picked up is this beige play suit, which looks like this. Now I saw this and I don't really wear play suits that much, but I love the color of it. It is this textured material, which I think is really nice. So that was one of the main reasons that I picked it up and also because it has these gorgeous buttons on it. It is a fairly short play suit but it does cover my bum so you don't have to worry about any bum cheeks hanging out or anything like that. It was really really comfortable, it has this kind of elasticated waistband which is nice. You can just pull it up over your legs and up over your shoulders, you don't have to unbutton it or anything. Um, it does have adjustable straps which is, again is another bonus. And overall I really liked it, it definitely wasn't my favourite item of the haul but I did still like it and you could team this up with so much I mean you could also wear this with a pair of heels on a night out and it would look nice or you could play it down with some trainers or flip-flops wear it to a barbecue something like that there is lots of ways to kind of work with this I did pick this up in an extra small and this was only $12.99 now I did find in H&M a lot of the clothes seemed really really sorry the dog barking a lot of the clothes did seem really stop it a lot of the clothes did seem really really reasonably priced um i definitely found that you know this is 12.99 and i do think you'd probably pay 13 pounds something like this in primark and there's a few other bits that are really reasonably priced i did get a lot for my money i spent 110 pounds altogether and i feel like i got loads for my haul so yeah really happy with this one Okay, next up, I'm really excited about this item. I did actually pick it up in the sale. Now, I hope that if you do pop to the shop or you look online, you will find sale stuff. If I can find anything that I've got in store online, I'll link it all down below so you can find it easily. But I did grab a few sale items because I couldn't help myself. And I got this dress, which is a denim olive dress. And I just absolutely love it. It's very thick like it's a thick denim so I wouldn't say you'd want to wear this on the hottest summer day but here in the UK our summers are a little bit hit and miss so some days are actually a little bit chilly so I would definitely wear something like this with like a nice oversized cardigan on it or something like that and um, just be a little bit warmer in those colder summer days but I just loved this so much I love the thick straps I love the button detail and all the detailing around it is really really nice and because it's got the pockets here down the bottom, it just gives such a beautiful shape. It really accentuates your smaller waist and then 
your hips. So I just felt like my figure looked nice in this. And it's not always, like you don't always feel like that, do you? When you put clothes on, sometimes you feel a bit rubbish. But when I put this on, I felt good and confident. So that is why I love this dress. And it was also so comfortable, even though it's quite a thick material, it was really comfortable. Uh, to put this one on, you do have to unbutton the whole dress and kind of pop it on and then button it back up again. I mean, if you're a bit smaller than me, you might be able to pull it up over your hips, but I do have wider hips, so I couldn't pull it up on mine. So I got this in a size eight and that fitted me perfectly. Just for reference, I am generally a size eight in most clothes. Sometimes I might be a size six on top half, but bottom half is definitely size eight. So usually with dresses and stuff, I always go for size eight. And I am five foot three. So that is kind of reference for my sizings. Now this was 25 pounds, but I picked it up for only 12 pounds. So I just saw it and I wasn't going to get sale stuff. I wanted to get all of the brand new stuff in, which most of this is, but I did want to pick up a few sale bits when I saw them because I just thought 12 pounds for this, absolute bargain. So really happy with this and how it looks on. I think I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. Now this is more of a casual, items so I mean I'd pair it with a pair of trainers or flip-flops um, and like I said like a nice oversized cardigan would look really cute with it so I probably wouldn't wear it for a night out but definitely in the summer in the spring and in the winter you could even put like a long sleeve stretchy top like a black top underneath it and then this over the top and then like some boots would look really cute so there's lots of ways to wear something like this so I definitely thought I need to pick this up for £12 so happy with that purchase so next up, I have something completely out of my comfort zone, which is this floral dress. This is a floral midi dress. It is quite a long dress. It goes kind of all the way down to my ankles, really. But I am five foot three, like I said earlier. So maybe if you're a bit taller, it would be a bit more of a midi dress. But it's kind of like in betweeny um, length. But let me know what you think on this one. I mean, look at the pattern. The pattern is very out there. You have leaves, like green leaves all over. You even have some kind of fluorescent yellow on it. Did I see any animals? Was there animals on it or is it just all flowers? I thought I saw like a lizard or something, but I'm probably making that up. Okay, no, there's no animals on it. <laughs> but it's just so loose and comfortable that when I felt this on the hanger, I was like, I bet that is lovely. Like when you're just going to a barbecue or you just want to sit in the garden in the evening and you just want a nice flowy dress or on holiday when we can go on holidays again. This would be lovely for like the evenings when it's not so warm on holiday. But the thing that I love the most is the comfort of this dress. But do let me know what you think it looks like on because I'm really not too sure if it suits me. I see dresses like this on others and I think they look absolutely beautiful. When I put it on, I do feel maybe a little bit frumpy. So just let me know what you think of it, your honest opinion. It does have this elasticated waistband and it fitted perfectly around my waist and so then the skirt half fell, fell really nicely around my bum and it just fitted really well. And then the top half you do have this little button at the top to do it up with and it has a lovely neckline on it as well. It's kind of a high neck but very loose and slouchy so it just gives that nice comfort look and it just looks really casual but put together and the sleeves on it were lovely and wide and flowy so they just felt really nice the whole dress was probably the most comfortable dress I've ever worn and the length of it was also really nice because you feel like nice and covered up like and if you haven't done like a fake tan or something but you still want to look put together but you don't want to get your body out this is perfect because you honestly you don't need any tan on with this because it covers pretty much everything but you still look like you've made an effort so I love that Definitely let me know what you think of this one because I am thinking I'm probably gonna return it. Now, I picked this up in a size extra small and like I said, it fitted me perfectly. And I only paid for this 17 99 and that is not in the sale, that is the full price. This is what I mean when I was saying earlier that the prices just feel really, really good value. Like, I, th I think something like this in Primark, which would probably be less quality, you'd pay a similar price for it. So I definitely think H&M is kind of upping their game with pricing and keeping it very competitive. Okay, so next up I have this gorgeous oversized jumper. Now, it's actually 
a normal kind of size jumper I think but I did buy it in size extra large which is the largest size that H&M do because I want it to be really really oversized because I'm getting into this cycling short trend that everyone else is in I think it might be maybe not here for much longer and I'm only just joining the train now but it's okay and you'll see in my last haul that I bought some cycling shorts and jumpers with that but the jumpers I bought weren't quite right like I felt like they weren't long enough so then I thought I'm going to get another one and I found this one and it has this lovely detailing going down the front of it um, just some kind of extra stitching there which looks really nice and it has lovely long sleeves of course I have bought it in oversized so it is going to fit me like on the bigger side but I think it looked really nice with the shorts and it was so comfortable. Although it's a jumper, it's like a summer jumper, it's a very thin material. Definitely doesn't feel like a thick winter um, sweatshirt. It feels more of like a summer sweatshirt, which I thought was really nice. It is from their basic range. So it was only £12.99. And again, I just think what an amazing price. Like all of this stuff, I'm just so happy with how much it actually was. And this extra large for me was the perfect length because it did just cover my bum a little bit and I do think it looked nice with the shorts, like it gives that oversized look. So definitely if you do want this jumper but in oversized, definitely size up in it because I don't think they're designed for oversized so you do need to kind of size up in this one. But yeah, happy again with that purchase. Okay, so next up, I think this is my favourite item, only because I've been searching for these for so long and I actually found some. And it is these linen shorts. I just think they are gorgeous. I've wanted some high-waisted linen shorts for so long and everywhere I go to order them, they're always out of stock. So I couldn't believe it when I saw these in H&M. I was like, I need them now. And the next best thing about it is these were actually in the sale and I can't believe they were in, in the sale in my size. So I only paid nine pounds for these and they were originally 17 99 So I feel like I've got myself a good deal. However, don't worry if these aren't in stock because they had some other ones in there which I initially picked up first and they were in stock, but they weren't in the sale, but they were only 12 99 and they were actually a little bit nicer than these. The colour, this is like that greyish colour, so like a grey beige colour. The other ones I saw were a little bit more on the nude side, so I did prefer the colour of the other ones. But these are still absolutely amazing. They have this lovely frill detailing at the top, and then they have a belt around them. And then they're just undone and done up by these little hook and eye things, and then a zip and they fall at a perfect length, really comfortable. You can sit down, stand up in them, and nothing feels tight. I did get mine in a size eight, and like I said, they fit perfectly. And also, one of the most amazing things about these shorts is they do have pockets, and I love that, because you can just stand around with your hands in your pockets, and you just look really cool and casual. And these shorts go with so much. Now, talking about what they actually go with, you'll see in the trial clip that I paired them on with this top. This is a gorgeous nude ribbed top. Now, the only thing I did find with this was the shape of it was a little bit difficult. Like, what do you wear underneath bra-wise? Because when I wore it without a bra, it was a little bit nipply. That's the right word to use. You could definitely tell I wasn't wearing a bra, which is not ideal. But... I mean, you could just pop some like nipple pads on, look really nice, because the material is actually thick enough that you don't really need a bra with it. It's fairly supportive, but you can kind of see your nipples through it, which is not ideal. So yeah, that was the only thing. The shape of it made it a little bit difficult what sort of bra to wear, but I did have a crossover one that I managed to fit with it quite nicely. But I just paired it with those shorts, and I thought it looked really, really nice with those, just really muted and casual. And this is the type of top that you could throw on with anything, a pair of jeans, a skirt. It would just go with so much. I love this with like white colours and also like the colour of the shorts, the neutral grey colour. Just an absolutely lovely basic top to have. Now I picked this up in a size extra small and that was 9 99 So like I was saying earlier with the prices, I feel like the dresses and everything are really well priced but I do think their basic range have gone up. I'm pretty sure things like this used to be around 6 99 but now they are more in the 9 99 range. I did find the other tops I got as well, 9 99 Is It definitely feels really nice quality, like something like this would wash well and last. Okay, so next up I have this gorgeous white ribbed bodysuit which I also paired with the shorts. Now I absolutely love how this looks and the style of it. I think it looks really nice and chic. And it could be paired with so, so many different outfits. I think it would look nice with skirts, with jeans, with 
the trousers I've got coming up would look really nice with it. I did pair them with it. But, oh my god, how impractical is a white high neck top? Now, I've only put this on just to try it on in the clip, so I had it on for like five minutes, right? And there is orange here, there is orange here, there is orange down on the crotch area, which I don't even understand why there's orange down there, but my makeup have got everywhere, all over this. Oh, it's on the back as well. I just think it's going to be a nightmare. So, I don't know. I mean, I can't return it now because it's got this orange on it. So, I'm going to have to wear it at some point. But I think it's going to really bug me because as the day goes on, you are going to get, like, these orange marks going on around the neckline here. However, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It was a little bit tight for me down the bottom area. It was cutting into my bum. However, I just pulled it up almost, like, more into a thong and that did fit a little bit better. And it was comfortable, even though it was tight. It didn't feel tight, it just looked too tight. But it was actually really comfortable. And down the bottom here, where you do it up, it is just two little poppers, like this. So you can unpop, just so you can go to the loo, which is nice and practical. So overall, I do love it. And I think in a different colour, maybe like a nude colour, this would be absolutely gorgeous. You wouldn't have to worry quite so much about the makeup marks. I did get this in an extra small, but I do think I may have been better getting this in a size small just for my bottom half. So if you are like me, a little bit bigger around the bum and you usually wear a size eight, I would size up in this and get a size small. Now this one, like the other one, was 9 99 I think you definitely get a little bit more for your money here with this body compared to that strap top earlier. However, they are both 9 99 I do think that's still a good price. Uh, I would definitely pay that for this. And I do really want to get this in like a nude color. I didn't see they had one, but I will have a look online because I may order that in a nude if they do have it. Now, my next item is this gorgeous pair of paper bag trousers. These are lovely, like I cannot recommend these enough. If you're looking for a new pair of trousers but you want something for the summer, something when it's a bit too cold and not warm enough to wear a dress, these are perfect. So they are super high-waisted and really, really elasticated. They come up nice and high and then they have this frill detail, quite similar to the shorts. They're in this lovely beige colour and then they have the little poppers here to open it and then a zip. So they're really easy on, easy off. And they do have pockets and they also have pockets on the back, which gives a nice detail on the back. I do love a pocket on the bum. It kind of lifts your bum and gives a bit of a better shape. So they are full length. Now, I have shown them mostly on the try-on clip rolled up at the bottom. I do prefer them rolled up, but you can unroll them and have them full length. Now, these would look absolutely amazing with a pair of heels and a nice top. Or you could wear them with trainers to play them down a bit. Uh, with the bodysuit I paired them with, I think that looked so nice. Like, nice and simple on the top and then like the bit more detailing around the waist I absolutely love it and I just think they look absolutely gorgeous on they're really easy to throw on and like I said earlier if you're not quite prepared you know you haven't shaved your legs you haven't put fake tan on you're not quite feeling yourself chuck these on with a nice top and you're still going to look put together and they are really comfortable as well you can sit down stand up in them nothing pulls nothing feels tight I did pick mine up in size 8 again and these were only £17.99 I just think that's really good. I don't know if like I've lost track of what things cost in lockdown because I've been online shopping so much, but I just think for a pair of trousers of this quality and this material, 17.99 is really really good. So they are 100% cotton, which again is amazing for the summer. These are going to feel comfortable, even if the day gets a little bit warmer. Maybe you go out, it's cold in the morning, it warms up through the day. These are 100% cotton, so you're still going to be nice and comfortable in them. They're very breathable. Just an absolutely gorgeous pair of paper bag trousers. So next up, I have another item that I did pick up in the sale, only because I thought I can't leave it behind. It's a linen shirt, and I really love linen material in the summer. So it is this gorgeous striped linen shirt with the little tie on the bottom there. And I just absolutely love it. I love the colour. It's a gorgeous green olive colour and white. I just think it's nice. It goes with so much. I just paired it with a pair of my jeans. The jeans I'm wearing are from H&M as well. They're from my previous haul. So again, check out that haul if you'd like to see more information on those jeans. But yeah, I just paired it with a pair of jeans. But you could wear it with white jeans. You could wear it with shorts. You could probably even wear it with the trousers and the shorts I bought in this haul. But I tend to like either a flowy top half and a tight bottom half. 
or a flowy bottom half and a tight top half. But if you prefer all loose, these would look great with the trousers and the shorts as well. Now this material feels really, really nice. It is 100% linen, so it's definitely good quality. You need to be careful when you wash these because they can go a bit funny after a wash. And this is from their premium quality range. Now this was originally $17.99, but I only paid £8 for it in the sale, which that is why I couldn't not buy it. And I will link it, if it still is online, I will link it down below. But there was other colours, so there may not be this colour, but I might find another colour. But I just think it's an absolutely gorgeous shirt. The sleeves are rolled up on it, but you can roll them down. But I think it gives a nice casual vibe to it. Now I did get this in a size small because that was the only size they had there in this colour but it is a little bit too big for me. I'm gonna keep it because, you know, it's only eight pounds and I still think it looks nice, but it was definitely a little bit too big, like where the little bow ties is too big for me, so I did have to kind of miss a few buttons and tie it about here, just so it fitted a bit better. But still, for that loose, casual vibe, a size small is absolutely fine, but I'd definitely say, yeah, these are probably quite true to size because this one was a little bit big for me. But yeah, absolutely love that. So then, sticking with the shirt theme, this is my last item. I have wanted a shirt like this for ages, just to throw on when you're wearing a pair of jeans and a small top, even like this really, you could just throw it on over this and it would look really, really nice. It has some really nice detailing around the shoulders and around the back, has some lovely detailing. I just thought this was a gorgeous, gorgeous white shirt. Now, I call it white, but it is that kind of off-white cream colour. So it's not a definite white, but you might see a little bit better in the try-on clips, the exact colour of it. But I just thought it was absolutely stunning. And it is this kind of silky material, very lightweight, very comfortable, easily thrown on over any outfit, and just looks really smart. This would also be great for work because you could just put this in on with a pair of black trousers, whatever you usually wear to work and it's lovely, light and comfortable, and it's not too see-through. I mean, I was wearing mine with a little white top underneath, but like I said, with something like this, you could just pop like a white crop top underneath it and it wouldn't be see-through. I think if you wore a bra, you would be able to see your bra through it. Um, so yeah, definitely go for like more of a crop top thing if you're wearing it for work. But I just think it worked really well with the jeans and the crop top, just to give a nice relaxed vibe. And what did I pay for this? So this was only £12.99, which I just think is amazing for a shirt. And a shirt of this quality, it feels really good. And I picked this up in a size 6. So I did size down in this because they looked a little bit oversized. So if you like the oversized, stick with your size. But if you prefer a shirt to be a little bit more the right size for you, then size down because I got this in size 6. And for me, this is the perfect fit of how I'd want my shirt to look. And it has gorgeous long sleeves on them. Again, it has that kind of ruffling detail on the sleeves, which I think is really nice. And these are able to unbutton, so you could roll them up if you wanted it a little bit more casual. But it just looks great. You could pair this with so many different outfits as well. Like I said, the jeans, you could even wear it with the shorts. But if you just tie it up a little bit, that looks more relaxed. You can undo it. You know, you could even wear this with like leggings, a crop top, and this just over the top. But a great kind of summer staple piece love that so guys that has brought us to the end of the haul and i have to say this is one of my favorite hauls yet i'm so excited about all the pieces that i've bought please leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite and also let me know about that dress i really want to know what you think it's one of those things i've put on and i'm like oh I'm not quite sure about that i don't know if i'd wear it but let me know what you think if you did enjoy the video please give me a thumbs up that really really helps my channel and definitely subscribe down below if you'd like to see more from me as you've probably seen from my channel i really enjoy uploading clothing hauls, product testing videos, vlogs, all sorts of things like that. Like I said earlier, I do want to do a Zara haul, so that will be coming up at some point in the future once I've finalised what I want to buy for it. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video. And if you're coming from my last H&M haul, thank you for all the love on that video too. And like I said earlier, I will link that one down below. And if you do have any questions about anything that I bought, then please just leave me a comment. I'll be happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye.